I am April Marie Eden. It is Comic-Con 2011. I am here for My Outer Space one year anniversary. We're going to start kicking off our interviews. Our first interview, we have Ryan McDonald. He is with GameSpot. Hello. Hello, Ryan. How's it going? Pretty good. Now, my question to you is, tell me a little bit about all of these movie games I see coming out. Yes, uh, one of the more recent ones you probably saw come out was, uh, of course, for Green Lantern, which just hit for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation mm -hmm. 3. That game's actually really good. You know, movie games that, you know, they kind of have a bad rep because, you know, sometimes they don't transfer from the big There's screen. a reason for that. There is usually a reason. <laughs> uh, but that one in particular, that one's actually really good, especially if you're playing two people co-op. Uh, one that came out previous to that, of course, was Thor. That was not the case. That game was just terrible. <laughs> um, and then they're showing a lot of stuff off here. One of the ones that we got to see yesterday, actually, was uh, for Voltron, Defender of the Universe. So anybody that is around my age group or your age group probably remembers the five lines that form like Voltron and make a big giant robot that has an awesome sword and cuts robies. So uh, yeah, Voltron was a good one that we saw. Cool. Now, what is it, just to get kind on kind of a little more of the development side of, of video games sure. and stuff, what is it that is the big trend right now? Like, you know, first person shooters, like RPGs, like what is it that is selling that people are kind of gravitating to at the moment? Uh, sequels, particularly the the third game. That's what we've been joking. 2011 is the big year of. So Battlefield Three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So ba you got yeah, Battlefield War. Three, <laughs> Modern Warfare Three. Yeah. Um, there's a whole bunch of them coming out that are all threes this year. So that yeah. seems to be one of the trends. But obviously, uh, motion control games. They've been kind of one of the things pushing for a while. So okay. Connect Star Wars is another game they have on the show floor. That's a big yeah. one. And uh, that game in particular. As you might imagine, uh, you know, it's pretty cool being able to stick your hand out there and be able to throw, you know, wow. robots using the force and stuff. <laughs> so that game, but yeah, we also saw uh, some stuff from Sega. Uh, we also saw some stuff from a few other people that are all motion controlled stuff. So whether okay. it's PlayStation Move or uh, Microsoft Connect. So, okay, in your professional opinion, yes. okay? Professional, correct? Okay, yes. very fair. A little bit. <laughs> How far away are we from this? You know, we've all seen it, the virtual reality. You put the thing on your head. We can do it a little bit here and there. Yeah. They got a system out right now that's sort of similar, but all the games are kind of like, dump over the bubble. Right. You know? <laughs> How far are we away from actually getting, you know, Super good? Immersed. Yeah. Um, the closest we've got right now are, are games that use motion controls and 3D. Mm -hmm. So, like, games like Killzone 3. Um, yeah. One of the games that we also saw was... Uh, uh, House of the Dead Overkill for the PlayStation 3 that's coming out, and yeah. uh, that game's going to be in 3D as well. The neat thing is cool. when you're wearing 3D glasses, yeah. and you get that kind of like mental tick that, that kind of like allows you to feel like you're a little bit there, uh, mixed with the actual hand-eye coordination that you use when you're like pointing a gun and shooting with motion yeah. controller stuff, that two kind of part connection is really kind of the closest we get to today. As far as when we get to like full-blown holodeck <laughs> Star Trek style, that's Come not going to be. Uh, <laughs> It's in a few few years out. All right, years all out. right, fine. Did anything really cool that stands out over the last three days? Uh I'll be honest, there's big name titles that you kind of expect to be really good. So <laughs> Gears of War 3, that was here. We saw that. That looked really good again. The one uh, I'll mention again is uh, Connect Star Wars. I didn't expect that to be really good. A yeah. lot of the motion control games have been kind of so-so. Mm -hmm. uh, but that weird kind of one-to-one -one kind of connection you get when you stick your hand out there and, you know, do some yeah. force power stuff. <laughs> that game's awesome. That's so cool. Uh, I want to do you that. you got to try that game. Is really that good. out? Or... It's not out. It's coming See? out in yeah, October. But gotta... if, you, if you get to the show floor before they close, you'll be able to get your hands on it. Yeah, try it. Sounds like you know, fun. At least you'll stand <laughs> nine feet away and move your hands and it'll work. So. Actually use the force. Yes, All right, actually so use the force. I, I'm, I'm hoping you guys caught that because I hope that game does really well because yes. I want there to be sequels and <laughs> forever. Totally. Captain America, you were asking about movies and comics yes. and games and, and yes. all that stuff. Captain America obviously I think opened up, what, today's Friday? So that, uh, yeah, sure. Today's Saturday, <laughs> Friday, whatever it is. Captain America just opened either way, and uh, that movie is uh, awesome, and the game is actually pretty good as well, so there's another good cross cool. between the two. All right, I'm going to take your word for it. All right, so. check it out. All right, everybody, thank you. We have a lot more interviews to go. We're going to go see who else here and what's going on here at Comic-Con.